darkest night, I saw your eyes A sense of threat that I can't forget I wanna know who you are This is what I need to know Let's make these gains. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, three weird tips that actually helped me gain weight as a skinny guy. Before I start this video, if you guys don't know me, I made a transformation myself back in the day, going from somebody who's very skinny, very insecure about it, to someone who's definitely way more confident in his body. And man, there are some weird tips that I actually have not shared before on this channel. Some of you guys were saying like, oh, this dude is repeating his stuff. Watch this video, man, these tips are gonna be so valuable and weird at the same time. Now, I just made this breakfast and I want to touch on this again. I always mention this, but for the new people, try to add more things on the side. You can simply go with some eggs, which I made, but you can also add the toast on the side. Apart from the toast on the side, you can add some butter on the toast on the side. And that's exactly, with those two little things, how you're adding more calories on top. So what I could have even done as well is maybe added some cheese on the toast, which I don't really like, but you could always take it to the next level in the same meal, maybe even add some sauces if you like it to add more calories and, you know, get more bang for your buck. Anyways, it's the morning for me right now. It's gonna be a little bit of a grinding day for me with school, with my business, with this YouTube video, but I'm gonna deliver to you guys three amazing and actually also weird tips evolving, gaining weight and building muscle. Before I start this, two things you guys have to do. One, subscribe to the channel if you're a skinny guy trying to gain weight. If you already like this video, like, what are you doing? I made like, honestly, like 50 to 60 videos around gaining weight and building muscle as a skinny guy. From things you have to eat to how to gain weight to the general tips to how to get your calories in a lot of stuff is on this channel subscribe right now and if you guys want some more information you want some more content live q a's and stuff like that follow me on my instagram guys it's honestly a must watch i'm dropping value nuggets day by day on the stories i'm vlogging my adventure day by day at vb fitness youtube let's make these gains first of all guys how are we all doing now if you guys don't know already i'm from belgium i don't know when you guys are gonna see this video but chances are that you guys are gonna be like kind of like a lockdown as well or at least like the gyms are gonna be closed i'm recording this at like the 27th or 28th of october i've been working hard on my youtube channel you know grinding out some videos so i'm you know just working ahead and stuff like that being more productive but at the same time we're like going back into this little lockdown gyms are closing down again somebody um of my clients actually told me that um he works at the parliament and he told me that it's probably gonna be for like five weeks here in belgium that the gyms are gonna be closed down i just want to mention to you guys that hey maybe your gym is closed down as well or whatever your situation might be it's not about what happens it's always about how you react to that situation okay first thing i did like yesterday when my client told me like hey gyms are closing down here in brussels he's from brussels and i'm from like flanders we kind of like were a bit later with the lockdown he told me like hey um yeah how we're we gonna move forward you know a couple hours later even he got a personalized workout plan and meal plan because my one-on-one -on -one client uh, personalized to the lockdown you know we ju just jumped on a call it's 8 8 a.m before i go to school before all of my school stuff and, and and things like that i simply jumped on a call with him we went over his full new full body home workout schedule he has no equipment apart from some little ropes he can use and we still still make it work okay it's not about what happens it's about how you react yes you might make less gains in quarantine which are on body weight or whatnot it doesn't matter that you still can't work out it doesn't matter that you still can't go out there and get your diet on point use these times when the gyms are closing now when people literally can't go out, use it to something productively and to something healthy rather than just complaining and whining. That was my little break. Let's get into the first tip. And my first tip is to eat every two to three hours, even if you don't feel like doing it. I always talk about this on the channel. Discipline is something that you guys have to get. You know, if you want to learn more about improvement overall, link is in the description to my VB Mindset channel talking more about self-improvement but first of all sometimes you're gonna have to do things even if you don't feel like doing it it separates the rich from the poor but also the skinny guys from the more muscular guys okay just think about it reversely um i always try to compare it to people trying to lose weight what do they have to do they have to put the fork down we have to actually pick the fork up with putting the fork down we all know that if you want to lose weight you're gonna have to eat less less calories you know eat less than what you're burning we all know that so they have to eat less for them it's very hard for these big people it's very hard to put that fork down and to actually eat less now for us it's reversed 
we actually have to pick the four cup even if we don't feel like doing it even if we don't feel that hungry because those other people the fat ones have to put that fork down even if they want to eat you kind of see what happens and no it's not fun i've been there myself i've been there multiple times i've even vomited i've shared it on the channel before like i've even had times where i literally ate so much or was so my grind would gain weight that i actually you know vomited and you guys don't have to push it to that next level because it's also not that healthy but just realize that you will not always eat when you're hungry it's an honestly and also maybe like a weird tip but you just have to put in work you have to get a personalized plan and just realize these are the calories i'm gonna have to eat and slowly but surely your body will adapt the first times i drank my shakes or i got into my high calorie meals or even right now when i ate a big breakfast i will still feel full but in an hour from now i'm eating again every two to three hours i'm eating even if you don't feel it, like really feel like doing it because it's your purpose because you have to do it to reach your goals just like those fat people have to put down a frog just like those rich people have to still go out there and put in the work for their business you guys have to actually pick up the fork and keep eating and actually moving on to tip number two high calorie snacks even unhealthy now again it's gonna be a brutal honest video i always like to live by the 80 20 rule meaning that you try to eat clean for about 80 percent talking about whole foods you know some eggs some chicken the bread all of that was clean maybe like the butter on top of the toast wasn't that clean maybe the chips i have at night sometimes or the cookies i'll have like an oreo or whatever is not that clean okay but at the end of the day i just look at it like this if you're already taking care of your health, you're trying to gain weight, trying to build muscle, trying to become a better version of yourself, you're already doing better than probably 90% of people out there. There are so many people not getting their sleep in, not doing this, not doing that. I get it, okay? Be sure that you get your vegetables in and whatnot. But being honest, on school, like in school and in work, it's always just so hard to get your calories in. I know there's a lot of like 15, 16 years old on this channel, as well as some people that are already working, you know, nine to five jobs, whatever. It's gonna be harder to eat there. You don't always have the time to prepare a full meal. You're not living on your own. You don't, you're not an entrepreneur or whatever. You can't always make a breakfast or whatever. That's why I make my shakes in the morning, etc. So just be sure to actually get your calories in, in school and in work. And when you're at home, after 5 p.m. or whatever, then you can focus a bit more on the 80%, then you can focus a bit more on the health and whatnot to get your calories in in a healthy way, okay? Healthy healthy way, getting in unsalted nuts, unhealthy way, getting the salted nuts, but these are so easy to get down and also so tasty, good snack for school. But you know what I'm trying to say? Sometimes I have to be brutally honest and tell you guys that, hey, if you're really struggling to get your calories in, for that 20%, use this as 20% of snacks, things like chips, things like cookies, you know, things you can easily eat away when in school or when at work. And my personal favorite, which I honestly recommend, is gonna be high percentage cacao chocolate, meaning that you're gonna get about 600 calories back per 100 grams. It's still pretty tasty. And if you go 70% or higher, all of the calories, or at least most of the calories come from natural fats. Um, and yeah, just gonna be pretty healthy overall, very high in calories. This is my cheat to actually getting some chocolate in as well as some good protein and fats. This is my cheat meal for you guys. Take it away and leave a like for that. And now before we continue, I still have a workout pre-recorded, so let's get it. Alright guys, moving on into the last tip. That's going to be having a plan. I talk about having a plan all the time and I won't really talk about having a good workout plan, a meal plan, which by the way, is the most important thing when it comes down to gaining weight and building muscle. But just have a plan of how your day is going to look like. And this is actually so huge. When I wake up, when I woke up today at 7 a.m., I already knew I was gonna make those eggs and the toast, getting like six, 700 calories in. I already know what I'm going to eat as my next snack, which is gonna be a kiwi, you know, a piece of food. Um, with a protein shake and some Oreos, you know, I already know what I'm going to eat and I already know how I'm going to accumulate my total calories throughout that day. Because once you have to start improvising because things will come on your way, things will start going bad. It's the same with school, it's the same with work. If you plan out your day, if you plan out when you're gonna study for a test or whatnot, it's gonna be way easier. So when you wake up, the last thing you wanna do is when your brain is still sleepy and tired you don't want to think about what you're gonna to have to make you already want the ingredients ready you already want to know what you can make 
You know, you can check out my high calorie weight gainer shake. Link is down in the description. One of my favorite breakfasts for heart gainers if you don't have that much time or stuff like that. Simply try to plan out your day. It's very important to do that because that way you can easily get your daily goals done. And one of those daily goals has to be for a skinny guy to get your calories in. And once you actually have like a good plan and a, like a good schedule set up, like it's gonna be way easier to hit those overall calories. Lastly, guys, I just wanna mention again that I've been making over 50 videos when it comes down to gaining weight and building muscle as a skinny guy. If you like this video in the slightest, you're gonna love other videos that actually went viral on my channel. Let's make this one go viral as well. Not the best tips ever, but just some weird tips and actually honest tips that can still work for skinny guys. So if you wanna help more skinny guys and you wanna help the channel grow, leave a like on the video as well as leave a comment because then youtube will see oh my god there's more engagement on this video and youtube will simply push this video to more skinny guys so i can simply help more people i know what it feels like being skinny just know that there's light at the end of the tunnel you can check out my skinny kid bulking up series where i simply document my full journey from me being 73 kgs to now being like 83 so i gained like 10 kgs over that series and of course i've been way skinnier before this is a channel for you if you're a skinny guy let me just keep it at that Take care, implement the tips, and as always, let's make this game.